How about to conclude? I, I think I'll move that 30 minutes. I know I've time on time on my messages. I'm about to conclude. But what has God brought in your hands now? How many people are to go to business there? On the question, Anything? Well, congratulations. I saw your you enrollment, one of the first. Are you watching others now? <laughs> <laughs> Those are called anchors. Anchors of success. Bites of knowledge. If you don't know, you don't know. You understand that? Yeah. But when you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. And you can do it. Yeah. For those people who want to go into business, plug yourself into a business planning program. It teaches you a roadmap to where you want to go. Mm. In there, also work out your, your risks. Mm -hmm. And also work out your strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. If you find weaknesses, you are going to look who can come as my partner because of my weaknesses here. Oh. Or how can I strengthen them? Either by training or by start fasting. Why do I say so? Sometimes certain things hard to understand. But when you begin to fast, they open up. How do I know this? The Bible says so. This kind comes by fasting and prayer. The kingdom of God has subdivided, but the violence has taken them. How do you become violent as a Christian? Are you going to wrap yourself with something and say, oh, boom, you the kingdom of God? Are you going to do that? You say you're crazy. I will come and pray with you. You are going to jump in the sky and fire it. Ah, boom! Yeah, boom! No, 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 no. <laughs> you go to the scripture. How did Jesus do it? The disciples missed him. He said, Master, where, where was that outside? Because when he came out, things were happening. Then he said, Teach us how to. So, what you do? First, pray. Pray, increase the amount of time you pray. Long prayers are good, not for God, but for you. Because the Bible said, the very day you opened your mouth, I answered. But what are they good for you? The Bible says, this flesh cannot be saved. But the soul in here, the spirit of uh, uh, God has put in, can quicken this mortal body. How? When you pray more, you strengthen the spirit inside and strengthen the flesh. Amen. In other ways, the flesh begins to follow the commands of the spirit, not the other way around. You think when you pray more, God will change? No. It's you and me that change. And when you pray more, the eye that we are blind to see Amen. why you are failing in the promotion opens. Amen. They say, well, how do you make profit? Profit is equal to capital and tax. You are making everything wrong, but when you pray, the brain is now sharp. Yes. When you fast, the brain is sharp. Yes. That's how you become violent. The second violence is begin to increase knowledge. In business, you must be ready for what we call conflict. Conflict arises because in business, you sell, you produce, or you make a service, there's a competitor. That's a form of conflict. Hey, so I was planning this. Now, even my neighbors do the same thing. Now, as a Christian, how are you going to fight? John 10, verse 27. My sheep here, man. Because they love me. Then the Lord says, Go south and implement your business. South, there's nobody there, but the Holy Ghost has said, Go south. When you go south, your business picks up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These things, you learn, you learn them in business planning. There's a portion called strategic planning and strategic marketing. I like that. She's marketing my paper. Yeah, it's good. To help young people get started early in life. You understand that? Bit? You can only do that if you read. If you don't read and a non believer has read, they will choose a non believer. Because a non believer has got the age of knowledge. Now, if you do that, you negate your position in whom Christ has entrusted you as the hope of the world. You like that? These are simple business ethics. The other one is, when you have that foundation, you need to take a risk. Twenty 
the year 2010, I walked out of my employment. I always wanted to leave, but then they said they can't afford me that left. But that year, there was opportunity. The government announced those people want to walk out. They call it VG, men, V R Y. Voluntary Uganda said, hey, this one sounds good. I jumped in. And they didn't announce, I just told my boss quietly, then I'm lying. He says, on the condition that you accept, would you go to me? Hey. Glad we accepted. That was a risk. The Bible says, and Jesus was set to go to Jerusalem. And he was walking like this. Peter, they are confused. Where is this master going? He's just going. It's called, there's, a, there's a donkey there expecting for us. That is risk. You learn that in business? Learn. Risk assessment. You know there will be risk, but you still go. Because you are a Jesus representative and your disposition. Are you happy that? This message goes to every realm of your life. If you are a minister of the gospel, if you are a church leader in any capacity, this principles are the same. The whole life of you is about business. Believe me. There's a transaction. Input, output. Loss or profit. What are the principles? Stand. Know the voice of God. Carry the mantle of evangelism. Minister to others. Let's we minister to ourselves too much Christians. <laughs> Believe me. And if you read John 17, the way the Lord ended this prayer towards the end, he says, when these are one, then the world will know that you sent me. Amen. Up to now they don't know that Jesus was sent. And you and I are one. Yes. And the brothers we see other places. We have become one Amen. as a body of Christ. Then they will be how sure Jesus has come. Amen. That's the message of Christianity. And that's the message of investment. When they see the Christian is prospering, proper, he's not always the banker. They say, ah, this one. They know how to buy it. This is only sun. Blessings are running down. Where are they? Because we are always looking, I want to touch the head of Jesus Christ. You know, you touch him already, and it is in you. Amen. Begin to implement. Amen. Do you like this? Yes. I like it too. Because today you are climbing high by doing something about it. Yes. I'm so much interested for God gave me grace to launch this cross-chief scheme. Where we support people because God wants to raise the believers, raise them up. Amen. Raise them up to a place where they can tick and say, look, this is me. It's never too late. I was in Zambia interviewing a millionaire. He was uh, 73 years old that time. In Kitwe, you remember me? Yes, remember my wife? Yes. So he was saying, ah, now he's thinking of setting up a new business. The world is with like this. I was moderating. So, so I didn't allow patience. But this was a, no, no, why not? It's okay. Uh, how do I know? How can you say? And I said, who told you age has got anything to do with beginning and doing things bigger? Amen. Why? The thing you're planting is not for your generation alone. Amen. It's for the generations to come. Right. One of our businesses is a 250 year business. Phase one of finishing 250 years. We have only done how many years? 11 years. Because I'm thinking about the children's children. I'm thinking about your children's children. When they come, they say, oh, this building was put up a thousand years ago and it's still going strong. Mm -hmm. This is how you should think. Yes. Let's conclude now. So, change of what? Mindset. And how you and I believe Jesus. Who are you? You are the hope of the world. When you read that scripture of the woman, of the issue of man, See yourself in the position of the Messiah. Because the world is looking to whom they can touch the hand of the Catholic. Mm -hmm. Up to now they can't find it. Because Christians, when they go into the prayer meeting, they are always binding. And this day when they bind them, no money is unbound. Yeah. When we come to a place of wholeness, my daughter sang a song, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll go before you. I'll be with you. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. The disciples in the boat was rocking. Right. The Messiah was sleeping. 
as long as he will stay away as if he will not pick us up. Then when he woke up and said, Master, don't you care that you die? He says, Peace is still. He is in you now. He's not in the boat. He is right in you. Right? I don't know where he sits. I don't know where. I think it's a bed somewhere. I, I think it's around the bed. Let's do the same. Come on, sir. One way to find out where it's in the bed, where the heart is. When they talk about the spirit, what's in the Bible? It says, Out of you shall flow. Out of your belly yeah, really. shall flow rivers yeah. of living water. Right. So let's assume it's in the belly. Yeah. Yeah. It is in you. But why? Ah, this deliverance tells you the one going with it. What I get delivered yeah. You got to stand and deliver somebody. Right. Conclusion number two. Let us take Jesus by his weight. And this is the weight I want us to take him by. John 14, once again. John 14, verse 12 to 14. Bring it up for me. We're going to read together. Most assuredly, I say unto you, he who believes in me, we read together now, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than this, he will do, because I go to my Father. And if you read the next verse, Now, when you, when you say that this is where the Christian problem is, you must repent. Ah, anything. My neighbor hates me. Back to Zenda! <laughs> Back to Zenda! <laughs> That's not anything. So repent of that prayer. Back to Zenda to your aunt. Back to Zenda! Oh, Back to Zenda! The Bible says, love your enemies. If we make it in the New Testament to understand the ways of Jesus, the church will be better than it was. Yes. Yes. The veil is the Old Testament. The unveil is the New Testament. Full of love. They say if the thief steals your jacket, he says, give him the other one that you got. Hey! So like, I leave my jacket in the car. I, I see the guy stealing. He says, oh, come, come, come. I go home and say, take even this one. <laughs> that is Jesus. This is the time we should be living in. That's why the Old Testament people say, these people, they are little gods. Only God can do that. You think if God wanted to destroy Satan the moment he rebelled, he, he just switched, in, in Satan for the vow where God can just switch off and he's gone. Yeah. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. But he had to fulfill the coming of Messiah. And I face now. How do you do the works of Jesus? Homework. Get the biggest piece of paper you can get in the world. Make a universal set. Anybody done mathematics before? Max? Max produces. There's a universal set, there's a subset, and an intersection set. And I close with this. Universal set is all the good works the Lord did. Put them in that table and think of any good work that he could have done but he didn't do. Put it inside there. Now check that you are a believer, that you believe in. Once you check that you are believing and this is true, you are a believer, now go before the Father. Father, I ask, don't be shy. Say, Father, I believe. I ask you, grant me the grace to go and do this good. Because you said, you go to John 17. I know I was in Simon Peter, I wasn't there. I didn't even know how they were sitting. But you say in John 17, verse 20, I pray not only for this, but also for those who believe their message. Believe me, they are going to do those. Yeah. Part of my coming out of all these questions in is my believing in. I'm not going to wait for anybody to give me grants. I'll do it because he is me. And I want you to be part of it. Amen. Are you happy? Yes. I just want to pray for somebody and I close. Raise your hand. Raise your hand above your head. Hear the word of the Lord. My people keep time. When I've got an appointment with you, says the Lord, keep time. 
Honor what I honor. I am the Lord your God. When I call you at 10, come at 10. When I call you at 11, come at 10. For I am the Lord your God. Most times when you come afterwards, my angels have waited and they disappeared. Because we are going to wait according to time. The time the Lord has appointed is a opportune time. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I come to you come in, to Jesus in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I, thank I thank you for this message, for this message. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I, thank I thank you for your word for your in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Heavenly Father, Heavenly I thank you I because, because I am yours I am in, Jesus in Jesus' name. You are in me you are in, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Heavenly Father, Help me Help to be one to be with one. my brothers with my and brothers sisters and in the Lord, in, the Lord. in Jesus' name. In Jesus. Heavenly Father, Heavenly I, pray. I pray. Help me Help to change my mindset, to, my mindset. to think better to think of myself, of myself. According, according to your word, to your word. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. You said, you said the words the word that your son did, I can do it. Also, even, even greater works than he did, I can do. Because he has come to be with you. And whatsoever I ask in his name, he will do it. So that you may be glorified. Today, my Father, I come to you. I repent of my old mindset. Today, I accept the true mindset. Of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Lift your hand. Both hands now. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I come before you. I come before you. Right now. Right now. I remove, I remove and throw away. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. Today, today, 